Geodidge viewers, this is Chuck and we're back with a second set of Haunting of the Castle Malloy. You know what? I keep, I'm gonna keep screwing up that name. I got a feeling that I can't I'm, just go snooping around, not with Kit right there. I'm gonna screw that up immensely over and over again, but let's see what we've got here. The fireplace. Awesome. Uh fax machine I okay I don't actually know what that is so oh oh we got another weight so either way we couldn't have done that puzzle so and this is dumb oh wait I see something it's a coin maybe it's a token is it a token for this well, that says three, so either way, we can't use it. So, madame? Actually, let's see if we can ask him what this uh, little token What's is going about. On? Nope, never mind, okay. I'd better get going. See ya! Stay out of trouble. Um, he didn't say anything. Or, he, you know, he didn't move. So my game froze for whatever reason. <clears throat> Hello, voice. For whatever reason, there we go. Something stuck in my throat. Alright, so I think we're going to... Today we're going to uh, work on the nursery. I don't think I... A silent mouth is sweet to hear. <laughs> How uh, positive. What is that? Left to move me up and down, right to circle round and round. Hmm. Okay, so obviously this is fixed, and I'm assuming... Okay, so we... Oh, that's definitely not going to fit. So we basically have to find which one will fit all of them. Where's a body? That's also a body, but that also is right there. <laughs> this one, let's see, purple, but we don't need two heads. Yeah, this is gonna take me a while, I can see this right now. Hmm. Okay, so. Okay, well, this one, otter heads, so we have quite a few otter heads. Is there anyone, is there anything that's less than that? I'm assuming, I'm under the assumption that they're all practically the same. Is there anyone with two, one otter? No. So, obviously it's not this. Or this. <sighs> yeah, this is going to take a while. But let's try... Switch this out here. Yes, we need two blue otter heads on this side facing. So here... We have this. And over here we have this. I'm gonna go with this one, and this one. Ooh. Okay, so that is obviously not the solution. Oh. But then... Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. Let's put this otter head here. And did I already do that one? Okay, there's that. Uh, is there any lore halves with the lore half of... No. So many combinations, it's going to be really hard to say. Okay, I'm not... Yeah, it's just this one that's out of a line. 
Let's try this. The problem is I don't remember what I put there and what I haven't. Oh, this one. Oh, that worked. Yeah, um... Okay. Okay, I'm still working on it. And I don't know, this one is always giving me trouble. This one's being a hassle, basically. So I just feel like putting that there for now. I mean, guessing I, if we guess we follow this pattern, it should always be maybe two heads against two butts. <laughs> yeah, purple here. Chris, that doesn't work. <laughs> maybe this one. And we run out of purple. Boo. Pop goes the weasel. I'm uh, guesstimating right now. Urgh. Rawr. Well, maybe, uh, no, I'm basing everything off this piece over here. Um, I feel like I'm so close yet so far. Okay, so currently I'm working, I got these three in place starting from here. So that's obviously not gonna work with this here. Try that instead. But that also doesn't work. So, okay, I'm gonna... Mmm. that there instead. Put this here. Put this here. Oh my god. Yes! Awesome! So, <laughs> we finally- I finally did it! Yay! Hurrah! Uh, okay. Uh, not sure how long this is gonna be- this set's gonna be. Awesome, but there you go. We got one of the puzzles in the nursery solved. Then lovely little rhyme, and we have... I don't think we can do anything with that yet, but we do have this. Okay, so... Blue line means to the side of. Uh, the red one means directly next to, so... Uh, blue vertical is above. Red vertical is directly above. So what do we have directly above? So we have this cat and this guy. I'm gonna put those two right there. And then we have a pig and a cow. Above in any direction, to the side on any floor. But we don't have those yet, so we don't need to worry about it. Okay, so with the cat, we... oh. Oh, the knights are right here. So the cat is right beside the knight. So by that, the only position is here. Because we need this guy below him. Okay. And then we have... Anything else associated? Well, this guy is beside the knight, but that doesn't matter. This is on the same floor as the rocking horse, so that's right there. The pig is directly next to the rocking horse, so it's either or. Well, since the cow has to be above, the pig has to be there. So this is done. The vertical is done. So now we've got cats by the so the rocking horse is directly next to the pig. So now we have this girl next to the knight. And this doll we don't need to use yet. So let's check. So we have that next to the knight at the moment. This is next to the knight. The cat's next to the knight. The girl is next, also next to the knight. This is correct. This is correct. Cat's on the same floor as the rocking horse. The pig is right next to the rocking horse. Okay, um, that was a lovely sound but let's continue on with this okay so right now we have the cat this is directly this uh seems very sim familiar oh but the pig is right next to the rocking horse so is this the same thing as before yes yeah it looks like is there nothing more we could do? It, 
it, it seems like the same theme as before. And so I'm assuming we still need to get more, probably more uh, puppet pieces. So yeah, I think we're done here. Just checking. Yeah, we already saw that, but I don't think we can do anything yet without knowing the code. Let's see if there's Nancy, anything. Nancy, splendid timing. I just thought of something you can do for me. There's an old-fashioned printing press downstairs. Have you seen it? No, I haven't taken a good look around down there yet. Just go down the stairs and look for the monstrosity with the big wheel and the levers. You can't miss it. It came with the castle. My great-uncle Brendan had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and machinery lying around. Anyway, when I saw the printer, I told Matt why not save some money and print the programs for the wedding right here. Uh, problem is, Matt failed to get them done before he turned into the merry prankster. And since I have the mechanical aptitude of a bacterium, <laughs> would you mind finishing the job for me? You'd only have to print three more sheets. And the plate, the ink, the paper, everything you need is right there. No problem. Thank you, Nancy. You're the best. Okay, so we are handed a task and I forgot. Did that! Okay, so, uh... This, I'm just gonna... Oh, I thought we took a weight. Maybe it already got placed there that I can't see. Well, either way, we're done with that. So let's, since she uh, asked us so kindly, I, no, no, not up there, down. Since she asked us so kindly, let's uh, head to the printer and see if we can get it working. I'm assuming this huge thing is it. I should use black ink to print the programs. Yes, but we also should have some lovely instructions. Is that in our inventory? Yeah, it looks like it. So that paper. Whew. I'd better finish the rest of these before I go anywhere. Okay. Is there instructions to how to work this? Okay. I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. Alan Payne. That's kind of weird. Hmm. But either way, we need to do three of these. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, I'd uh, better let's... finish the rest of these before I go anywhere. Oh. Well, I. I. Oh, right. Okay. Ink first. Then this. Press it. Dry it. Okay, ink it, put the paper on, press it, you only need to do three of these, right? Let's uh, dry it. All done. Hello, I have a question for you. What's going on? If you and Matt are best friends, how come he didn't make you his best man? Matt felt like it would be a good move for him politically if he asked this guy he knows from work, Alan Payne, to be his best man. And I said, fine, don't worry about it. No big deal. I'd better get going. See ya. Stay out of trouble. All right. Well, uh, whether that's truth or not, that's hard to say. Is there anything here or I already picked up whatever I need the, whoever is using that as a paperweight? Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that side's done. Let's go upstairs and see if we can do more puzzles. Did you finish the programs? 
Yep. But I noticed that they say the best man is someone named Alan Payne. If Kit is Matt's best friend, why isn't Kit the best man? Matt said that's the way Kit wanted it. He got here early too. But when Matt vanished, Alan was certain that Matt was playing a joke and refused to be the butt of it. So he went back to London, saying he'll reappear only when Matt does and not a moment before. You know, perhaps you should give Alan a call. 0044020794604810481. He may have seen something while he was here that could help you find Matt. You'll have to use the phone down the road at the inn, however. My cell phone gets absolutely no reception here. If Matt was staying in the nursery, where is his luggage? Right there by his cot. It's not there now. But it was there, just last night. I remember seeing it when I peeked in to see if he'd finally decided to reappear. At least, I think I saw it last night. If it's not there now, perhaps Donal moved it, took it to storage or something. Because I know I saw it after Matt went missing. So it's around here somewhere, just like he's around here somewhere. I'm sure of it. Did you know when you decided to hold your wedding here that half the place is pretty much rubble? Oh yes. Mind you, I didn't even know that Castle Malloy existed until Grandpapa died and I was notified that I'd inherited it. At which point the executor of his estate sent me pictures and assured me that despite its appearance it was in fact habitable. When was the last time someone lived here? From what I was told, no one's lived here since the explosion. What kind of explosion? One summer night in 1944, this place, or half of it at least, just suddenly blew up. It was rumored that my great uncle Brendan was working on something that involved a new kind of rocket fuel. He was killed along with his wife and young daughter. Apparently they all just vaporized. Which, I guess, is why Donal claims the nursery, where the little girl spent most of her time, is haunted. I'll let you get back to your reading. Keep me posted. Alright, so we learned some history about this place and uh, what happened here. So I believe this one, this one have the, uh, yep. So, obviously you need to get these, uh, I'm not sure if that'll work though, so it's ten. Hmm. sure which way we're supposed to be going but there's only two sizes of each it's supposed to be 10 of 10 does that include the ones that are already here Is not obviously not gonna work. I guess I'm sort of working backwards here, but... Yeah, it's not gonna work. Okay, none of the big ones seem to fit here, and I'm over time. So, uh, until next time guys, uh, uh, so long before.